Okay, so we're going to install a microphone onto an ESP32 and a NeoPixel ring and get it running WLED with sound reactive options, okay? So I've got five wires for the microphone. I got three wires for the NeoPixel ring. And we're going to start by programming the ESP32, okay? So let's do a split here. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to hit install. Okay, it shows me the list. Oh, before I do that, I want to make sure I have sound reactive 13.3, right? The beta supports it, kind of. I haven't actually played with it much yet, so I'm not confident, but I know 13.3 supports it great. So I'm going to hit that, hit install. shows me all my serial ports, right? I'm going to grab the microcontroller and plug it in. Okay. There we go. I'm going to hit this, hit connect. Okay, I might actually already see. Oh, there we go, yep. And then let's move this over just a little so you guys can see it. There we go. So now I hit install. It's going to take a second. Erasing, perfect. Okay, once it starts erasing, we're good. Cool. Set that to the side. And now we're going to do some soldering here. Well, I'm going to wait till it starts actually uploading. There we go. Perfect. It's installing. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got here. Let's see, we got these three wires and this ring. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to take my soldering iron and solder. And I just need the digital in, the five volts, and the ground. Okay. So DI needs a little bit of solder there. Five volts needs a little bit and ground. Okay, those pads are now tinned. And then I'm going to take my solder here and just hang it. Okay. And then solder that, tin that one, and put a little bit of solder on this right there. There it goes. Cool. Okay. Five volts is red. So hit that there. Whoops. Put up at the puddle in there. There we go. Okay. And then grounds the next one. There we go. Okay. And then we got the five volts. Or not the five volts. Sorry. The, the digital in up top. Cool. Okay. So that's soldered there. Okay, now let's look at the microcontroller. So we have to be really careful with this, okay? Because that center hole right there, that's where it actually picks up sound. So we got to make sure we avoid that, okay? There's also the LR. We're going to skip that one. We don't need to solder anything to that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see. We got VDD, which is voltage, and we're going to put a red in that one, okay? I'm just going to dangle this here. I'm going to loop the soldering iron or the, the solder over here. There we go. And let's put a little pressure on the pad and add some solder. There we go. Oh, oh stop it. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So there's VDD with the red. Okay. We'll do black here. There we go. For ground or GUND, GND. Okay. Let's see, get a nice flow on that. There it is. Whoa. Did the same thing. Oh, I got it on that outer rim too. Oh, that's a lot of solder. Okay. That's a lot cleaner. Cool. Okay. And now we've got SD, which needs a wire. So I'll throw a yellow. Okay, and then let's get a little bit of solder on that one. Whoops. Got to get it on the on the ring there, not just on the wire. There we go. That's looking good. Okay, and then we need WS and SCK. So this one's SCK. Okay. Perfect. And then WS is left. Okay. There we go. And cool. Perfect. All right. So now we just need the board. Let's take a look at that. Okay. All right. Looks like installation is complete. Hit next. I'm going to connect it to my network here. So what are we? Snow. 
Co Makers. Okay, password is 5N0C0444. All right. Now the world knows our password. <laughs> Hit connect. And we'll see if it works. There it is. Cool. Visit device. All right. So we're on it. Perfect. Okay, we're on it, but now we're going to unplug it. Okay. Let's go back to the bench. Okay, here's our, oh, whoops, that's another project. Here's our uh, ESP32. I'm going to pull that out. Maybe, goodness. <laughs> it's a tough one. Okay, let's take a look around. We got three volts out. Where's our five volt out? Huh, we have the battery out. Might have to tap into that. Looks like we'll have to tap into that. What a pain. Okay. Hope we can do that. So we got ground over here and three volts up here. Oh, this is a weird little board. Okay. Wants to make it difficult on us. That's okay. I can play difficult. <laughs> well, then, first thing I'm going to do is remove that battery uh, connector on this board. Now, your board typically has like a VN or five volts or something. Whoa. Don't want to touch that. But yeah, typically you don't have to do anything this goofy to your board. Like remove the, oh, there we go. Like remove the uh, battery connector. Oh. Okay. I might just chew it off on this one. Oh, there we go. I see it had side pads holding it on. Okay. Not a big deal. Okay. So for that, Let's see, let's see if we can get this nice looking. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take my five volts and ground and data signal. Let's curl them up just a little bit and get some solder on them. Okay, there we go. Solder on that, solder on that, cool. Okay, so the one over here is plus, which should be putting about at about 4.2 volts. There we go, that grabbed on just fine. And then the other one just ground. There we go. Okay, oh, they're a little close. They're not touching, but I still don't like how close they are. There we go, okay. And there's a little bit of glob at the tip, but little uh, snippings. There we go. Now it looks professional, all right. So we got that, and then we got data. And let's put data into, f let's see, 12. 12 is right there. That'll fit real easy. So I'll put it into 12. Let's get a little solder on that. Okay. We're going to do some monkey hand here. Beautiful. Okay. And let's clip this a little shorter. All right. So let's see. We got a ring. All soldered up. Now we need to get the microphone. I'm going to clean that up a little first. Okay. I don't need them sticking way out there like that. Okay. So we got three volts for some reason way over here. That's all right. It'll work. Just be dorky looking. Do we have any other grounds on here? I see a pad, but I think that's for an external antenna. Let's see if we can cheat. No. I don't know, I could probably pull off this pad right here, but I shouldn't have to. I'll, I'll just go all the way to ground. I'll make that long, long stretch over there. Okay. So, there we go. Maybe. <laughs> okay. And then let's grab some solder and the iron. Let's heat it up. Ooh, that's not a good flow. There we go. That's a nice flow. Cool. Okay. And then we'll get ground way over here for some reason. <laughs> now, your SP32 board might be different. I think this is like an S2 or C3. I don't remember. It's whatever I had in the bucket that didn't have headers. So I'm currently running low on my normal ESP32s. So you would probably just have like two different grounds, a 3.3 volt and a 5 volt, or a VN, which should be 5 volts when it's plugged into the USB. Okay. 
Now I got these three data lines. And I see 34, 35 up here and 33. I know those are only analog ins, so I can't use them to send data out. But 25, 26, 27, those are perfectly good to send data in and out. So I want to solder these here. And in whatever order is convenient, because in software I can choose which one is a microphone or not. Okay. So I got those in there. Let's solder that up. Oh, tip's dry. There we go. That's a little bit better. Cool. Let's get some on that one. There we go. And then the last one. All right. Do a final inspection. Let's see. Maybe a clean up a little bit. There we go. All right. So to the microphone with 3.3 .3 volts, okay, and grounded right here with the NeoPixel ring coming off where the battery is supposed to charge, okay, should be fine. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and then the data is coming out of 12, okay, then we got three pins uh, sending out or sending and receiving data from the microphone on 25, 26, 27, and yeah, let's... Let's uh let's plug it in here. Let it boot. Then we'll connect to it on the internet and see if we can get this thing talking. Okay. So let's come underneath here. There we go. Okay, and point that microphone sort of towards me. <laughs> Kinda. Something like that. We'll we'll make that work. Okay. So let's split this up. Okay. And let's see, it should be connected by now. And I'm gonna go to config, yep, cool, we're good. LED preferences, let's see, we have a 1D strip, that's fine. Current, we'll leave it there. And then, let's see, we have 24 LEDs on this on pin 12. Okay, and what else do we got here? I think that's it, and then let's save that. All right, we got lights, cool. Let's try that out. So go back and then hit the blue. The blue works, it's purple, it's green, okay, it's red. All right, ready to party, cool. So let's go to effects. None of the sound ones will work just yet. We can scroll all the way down to like Android. It's gonna do little animations, right? Let's see, we'll do, we'll, we'll leave it on Android, okay? Go to colors and now we can pick like Sure, all sorts of weird little uh, palettes. Let's do rainbow. Rainbow's always a hit. Okay, so let's set up the microphone now. So we'll go to config, sound settings. So don't worry about this stuff just yet. Don't worry about this. What we want is a generic I2S, okay? So let's follow some pins. Okay, so let's look on the bottom here of this. Or I guess, oh, the top shows it. Sweet. Okay. So, let's see. SCK is going into 26. So, wherever it says, there it is. SCK, that's 26. Okay, what's the next pin? WS. WS is going into 27. Okay, so that's 27. All right. So, I'm just going to guess that's 25 because that's the only other pin. Okay, then I'm going to hit save. Cool. Okay. Oh, needs me to reset the board to take effect. Does it have a reset? It does have a reset button. Okay, but first... Okay, yeah, go back. Okay, so I'm going to sit here, and now I'm going to reset the board. There we go. Board reset. Give it a second to connect to Wi-Fi. I wish, like, the onboard LED would, like, flash or something. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, let's see if we're connected. Green? Not connected yet. Okay. Oh. There we go. Okay. All right. We're talking again. Perfect. Okay. So let's go to effects here. Oh, let's go to colors. Oh, we'll start at effects. Okay, let's go to 2D swirl. Ah, look at that. So it's actually picking up as I talk here. Okay, but it's a little... The tiny bit weak. So let's turn that up just a tiny bit here. So I'm going to go to config, 
sound settings and gains at 40 right now. I'm going to, I don't know, boost it to 45, hit save. Hey, hey, there we go. That's a little more action. Cool. All right. So now we can go back to effects and anything with this, uh, this music note next to it, we can run, right? So we can do a little noise meter. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Right, we can change the colors of it, right? So it has effects while it's doing it. And let's go back to rainbow because that's the default, right? There we go. Cool. So all sorts of colors. So yeah, that's how you hook up a microphone to it. Uh, try out all the effects, try out different colors with it. And yeah, have fun. Anyways, thanks for watching.